Yo, what's going on guys? Y'all here. Welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be reviewing Raw Underground. And yes, guys, so on Monday, we saw Raw we saw Raw Underground. And you know, first of all, like when I just like didn't realize what's inside the door, and I was like, "Wait, what the hell's inside of the door?" And then suddenly so we realized that we saw that it was like totally like um to totally like um I don't know, like, let's just, uh, let's just say, like, there was, like, people, people, like, um, at the, at the corner of the, um, at the corner of the, at the corner of the ring, you know, which do doesn't have, like, po doesn't have, like, posts, posts or anything, or the poles or something like that, but, but I don't know, but it kind of, like, looks like a fight club to me so uh so basically though um and i basically saw like shane mcmahon you know since he returned on monday and then you know he represents like raw underground and no one even know what it is but now like we all know what's a raw underground so yeah so that is why like i'm gonna review like what is raw underground so yeah so before we do that, let's just uh, smash the like button. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. That way you'll be notified. And uh, subscribe to me if you want to see more videos. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so Raw Underground. Yes, like again, like Shane McMahon just like presents like Raw Underground. So that is why like it's literally... In that's why like um, what's inside the door. And you know, we all... And turns out that it was like Raw, raw Underground. And then Shane just like explains what is raw underground so yeah so uh early in the night WWE had one shing mcmahon's own security guard standing outside of his office at the WWE performance center this was WWE performance center recruit jordan almog behind i don't know how to pronounce it who recently played the role of one of his WWE 24 7 champion akira tozawa's ninjas the announcers noted on the commentary sh that shane would be revealing his new brand child on the show and WWE later, later went to a warehouse setting. Oh, so it was a warehouse then. Hmm. All right. It makes sense. Setting with Shane on the mic. Three female dancers were dancing on the stage while there was a large ring in the center center of the room. Okay, so it was a ring, but without the, without the um, the posts and without the. Without the poles. Um. I mean the ropes, not the poles. <laughs> Three, fe yeah, three female dancers. Wait, did I read that? I don't know. You know what? Let's just like keep reading. Three female dancers were dancing on a stage while there was a large ring in the center of the room. The ring had no ropes and was covered with a black apron. Okay, so it was, so it was a black apron then. All right. It makes sense because, again, it doesn't have like no ropes or no, or no posts, you know, at the edge of the corners of the ring. Um, and yeah, so fights features and one referee in the ring while two competitors went at the the MMA or street style fights, but they were worked just like WWE matches always are. Shane did a play by play commentary for some of the fights while man and female people surrounded the ring being on the mat. Some were waiting for their turn in the ring, some were just cheering the fighters on. It looked like most of these male and female extras were WWE NXT talents. Oh, Okay, so the extra, so some of the extra wrestlers, like female, male and females, are the WWE, WWE talents. Okay, Shane tweeted that Raw Underground is where there are very little rules, lots of carnage and chaos, and lots of other things he likes to see. The first saw Shane introduced the seven foot tall, Babatunin, AG Bossy, who has been NXT since 2016. His new name is Dabacado. Dabacado uh, destroyed two random opponents in street clothes before. Shane asked who was next. He said, he, he then said Raw Underground would be back. Raw, Raw Underground returned later in the show. Eric of the Viking Raiders in the ring. Ivor was there to cheer for him. On Eric easily defended his opponent and the fight ended when Shane called it due to knee strikes to the face of the loser. The snow went back. I mean, the show went back to the regular Raw broadcast and it was praised by the announcers on more than a, one, one occasion. The last on. Last Raw Underground segment of the night was for show and closing main event segment 
Zay introduced Dolph Ziggler in the ring when he grounded his opponent. Shane mentioned how Ziggler was the top Kali Kaligate um, wrestler at Kent State to explain why would he be competing on Raw Underground. Ziggler also won his fight by submission. This is where her business interrupted MVP Bobby Lashley and South Shelton Benjamin. The trio was in a bad mood after their rough night on Raw, which saw MVP lose a title shot to WWE United States Champion and Paul. Apollo Crews and Shelton lose his 24-7 title to Akira Tozawa. Lashley quickly dominated an opponent, and MVP did the same. It looked like some of the ring-size extra were walking out due to the Hurt Business taking things over. MVP commented that Hurt Business would be running Raw Underground until further notice. Shelton then went at with the former Raw announcers and current NXT superstars Dio Madden and got the win by driving him off the platform with knee strikes. MVP continued ranting on the mic, asking if there were any more fighters to step up. They attacked the males extra at ring sign before Shane took the mic and called it amazing. Shane said that her business proved their point, but they're welcome to hang around at Raw Underground. They would be welcome back in the future. Shane that committed the, that this is how it goes at Raw Underground. Anything goes, WWE Air replays once again, and Shane called it this action insane. He then on a Raw Underground had his unsuspicious debuted hit this week. And he can't wait to see what Compta does next week. Raw went off the air with MVP declaring that they are the Hurt Business and the business is booming. There's no worse yet on where WWE's going to Raw Underground or how long will it be used for Mr. McMahon changes his mind and does away with it. It's believed that Shane McMahon has similar ideas for WWE storylines going back for several years. It's important to know that these fights will work just so regu like regular WWE matches are. Stay tuned for for updates on Raw Underground before several shots tonight. All right, yeah. So, so that was that is what Raw Underground is. Is like, um, let me see. So Raw Underground. Let's see. What this Shane McMahon just explain? Raw Underground. Okay, I'm starting to find like, what is Raw Underground? So that way, like, I can make so I can understand, like, you know. It makes sense. Let's see. No, no later than. All right. Yeah, I'm still trying to. All right, you know what? I'm just explaining this out. All right, yeah. Raw Underground is like a fight club, you know. Um, when you have other people though for cheering for your fighters, you know, and then you know, and then you make like classic wrestling, of course, and you also have like a girl, three girls like dancing and the, uh, and also yeah, so and also sometimes wrestler can like literally interfere on Raw Underground, so uh, yeah, so that's what one Raw Underground is, and hopefully we get to see more. And WWE already taped taped for the next week's episode, so. Basically, we're gonna see like uh, more Raw Undergrounds, and yeah, and also like you want to go, you wanted the guys know who was here in Raw Underground. So it was Eric and Ivar, Dolph Ziggler, and no one else. And uh, yeah, and also like this guy from NXT, which is uh oh shit, I forgot, I for uh, got his name uh oh. Dabacato, yeah, Dabacato, who literally signed NXT like since 2016, and now later on, like probably he moved to Raw, and then probably like pro probably gonna be like um in the Raw Underground, and uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed enjoy the video, like comment down below, to see which videos you want to see next, and also guys comment down below, what do you think of the Raw Underground? Like, do you think it's actually good or nah? I mean, just let me know in the comments below. But anyways, guys, so uh. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Like, he's going to be description. And, yeah, so. Anyways, guys, so I'll see you guys next time. So, peace.